Would you like to know the truth? The truth about what? About some of the most important questions that humans have ever asked. Perhaps you have wondered about such questions as these verse does God really care about us? Will war and suffering ever end? What happens to us when we die? Is there any hope for the dead? How can I pray and be heard by God? How can I find happiness in life? Where would you look for answers to these questions? If you went to libraries or bookstores, you might find thousands of books claiming to provide the answers. Often, though, one book contradicts another. Others seem valid at the moment but soon become outdated and are revised or replaced. There is, however, one book that contains reliable answers. It is a book of truth. Jesus Christ said in prayer to God verse, Your word is truth. John 17 verse 17, Today we know that word is the Holy Bible. On the following pages, you will get a glimpse of the Bible's clear, truthful answers to the above questions. Does God really care about us? While the question arises verse we live in a world full of cruelty and injustice. Many religions teach that the sufferings we experience are God's will. What the Bible teaches verse God never causes what is wicked. Far be it from the true God to act wickedly, and the Almighty to act unjustly. Says Job 34 verse 10. God has a loving purpose for humans. That is why Jesus taught us to pray verse, Our Father in the heavens, that Your kingdom come. Let your will take place, as in heaven, also upon earth. Matthew 6 verse 9, 10, God cares so deeply about us that he has gone to great lengths to make the fulfillment of his purpose a certainty. John 3 verse 16, see also Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28, James 1 verse 13, and 1 Peter 5 verse 6, 7, will war and suffering ever end? While the question arises verse war continues to claim untold numbers of human lives. All of us have been touched by human suffering. What the Bible teaches verse God foretells a time when he will establish peace earthwide. Under his kingdom, a heavenly government, people will not learn war anymore. Instead, they will beat their swords into plowshares. Isaiah 2 verse 4, God will bring an end to all injustice and suffering. The Bible promises verse, God will wipe out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more, neither will mourning nor outcry nor pain be any more. The former things, including today's injustices and sufferings, have passed away. Revelation 21 verse 3, 4. See also Psalm 37 verse 10, 11, 46 verse 9, and Micah 4 verse 1 to 4. What happens to us when we die? While the question arises verse most of the world's religions teach that something inside a person continues living after death. Some hold that the dead can harm the living or that God punishes the wicked by condemning them to eternal torment in a fiery hell. What the Bible teaches verse at death, humans cease to exist. The dead are conscious of nothing at all, states Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5. Since the dead cannot know, feel, or experience anything, they cannot harm or help the living. Psalm 146 verse 3, 4. See also Genesis 3 verse 19 and Ecclesiastes 9 verse 6, 10. Is there any hope for the dead? While the question arises verse we want to live, and we want to enjoy life with those we love. It is only natural that we yearn to see our dead loved ones again. What the Bible teaches verse most people who have died will be resurrected. Jesus promised that, those in the memorial tombs will come out. John 5 verse 28. 29, in harmony with God's original purpose, those resurrected as humans will have the opportunity to live on a paradise earth. Luke 23 verse 43, this promised future includes perfect health and everlasting life for obedient humans. The Bible says verse, the righteous themselves will possess the earth, and they will reside forever upon it. Psalm 37 verse 29, see also Job 14 verse 14, 15, Luke 7 verse 11 to 17. And Acts 24 verse 15, how can I pray and be heard by God? While the question arises verse people in practically all religions pray, yet many feel that their prayers are not answered. What the Bible teaches verse Jesus taught us to avoid repeating set formulas in our prayers. When praying, he said, do not say the same things over and over again. Matthew 6 verse 7, if we want God to listen to our prayers, we must pray in the way that he approves. To do that, we need to learn what God's will is and then pray accordingly.
First John 5 verse 14 explains this, no matter what it is that we ask according to God's will, he hears us. See also Psalm 65 verse 2, John 14 verse 6, 14, and 1 John 3 verse 22. How can I find happiness in life? Why the question arises verse many people believe that money, fame, or beauty will make them happy. Hence, they pursue such things only to find that happiness eludes them. What the Bible teaches verse Jesus identified the key to happiness when he said verse happy are those conscious of their spiritual need. Matthew 5 verse 3 True happiness can be found only if we take steps to fill our greatest need, our hunger for spiritual truth about God and His purpose for us. That truth is found in the Bible. Knowing the truth can help us to discern what is really important and what is not. Allowing Bible truth to guide our decisions and actions leads to a more meaningful life. Luke 11 verse 28. See also Proverbs 3 verse 5, 6, 13 to 18 and 1 Timothy 6 verse 9, 10. This has been just a brief look at the Bible's answers to six questions. Do you want to know more than that? If you are among those conscious of their spiritual need, no doubt you do. You may wonder about other questions, such as verse if God cares about us, why has he allowed so much evil and suffering throughout history? How can I improve the quality of my family life? The Bible gives full and satisfying answers to these and many more questions. However, many today hesitate to look into the Bible. They see it as a lengthy book that is sometimes hard to understand. Would you like help to find the answers in the Bible? Jehovah's Witnesses offer two tools that can assist you. First, the book What Does the Bible Really Teach? is designed to help busy people to examine the Bible's clear answers to vital questions. The second tool is a free program of home Bible study. Without charge, a friendly neighbor qualified to teach the Bible can come to your home or another convenient location and spend a little time each week discussing the Bible with you. Millions of people the world over have benefited from this program. Many of them have come to this thrilling conclusion verse, I have found the truth. There is no greater treasure to be found. Bible truth liberates us from superstition, confusion, and morbid fear. It gives us hope, purpose, and joy. Jesus said verse, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John 8 verse 32. Would you welcome more information? Please visit www.watchtower.org, the official website of Jehovah's Witnesses. If you would like to receive a free home Bible study at a time to suit you, please follow the link on the home page. Thank you.